I am currently in Phuket, Thailand, and what we're about to do is gonna be extremely fun and extremely entertaining. I'm gonna go show you the fake designer goods market out here on this island. Now, 13 months ago, I was on a different island in Thailand called Koh Samoy. Now, I made a video there showing some fake designer shopping, and it got over 300,000 views. Absolutely insane, people still comment on it to this day. Now, personally, I'm not that big into designer. I own a few little things and whatnot, but it's not really my entire market, right? That's not my expertise. So I'm gonna need your guys' help going ahead and letting me know what's a high quality fake, what's a low quality fake. So make sure to comment throughout it and let me know what you think of this market out here. I think that Bangkok, you know, different area in Thailand, is the only place that might have a bigger fake designer market here uh, than here in Phuket. So let me know what you guys think, if it's high quality or low quality, it's gonna be really fun. I actually gotta go drive like an hour and a half on the moped down to get to these markets that I went ahead and uh, looked up and a couple of them were recommended to me. So we're gonna go check it out. It's gonna be really fun. It's about noon right now. Uh, let's get on the way. I gotta grab some breakfast. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I actually do this every year. I go travel overseas for a couple months and I just like to have fun. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. All right, one of the only few real pieces I have is a Gucci wallet. This is actually a gift, but hey, it'll do. You ready to go? Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> let's see what they got to offer. Them. There's gonna be an abundant amount. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this will be interesting. Hey, we got the ride and we got the helmet. Oh man, battlefield. Look at the rims. Woo! All right, now we are mid bike ride. Just had to stop to drop off some laundry. How far are we, Corey? Like 20, 25 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to a cool market. We're going to eat there. Um, the other really big ones are like two, three hours away. So we're just going to go uh, explore this one. It should be fun. Yeah. Now the ride out here was gorgeous. Let's uh, see what all the buzz is about. I already see Louis, little duffel-ish type bag right there. Let's see. Oh, there's more. Oh, this will be interesting. Oh my gosh. Apparently, there's walls beyond the walls behind here. Isn't that so? It's the word on the street. We'll have to check it it's out. It's the word on the street. Let's see what's up. Let's see what we can find. How you brother? How are you? Okay. Found a small little watch box. Got a... Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Gucci here. Let me know what you guys think there. I've never actually worn a Gucci watch, but, oh, folks in. What do you think? A couple others in here. All right, what do you think? Should I rock both of these on my wrist at the same time? Oh my gosh, that's so small. Is that a woman's watch? What is that? Maybe. Is this what they mean when they say big face? Maybe, I don't know. Not a watch guy. <laughs> We're gonna follow him. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ooh, a bunch of Supreme bags. Got a whole mart up over here. Good little walkways. Nice, look at this motorcycle. Oh my gosh. Did you whip this? Oh, that's deadly. That is lethal. Look at All right, we got some shoes here as well. Some Yeezys, which I don't know too much about. The only thing I know is they'll come to the end right up here. A lot of fakes, these just kind of continue down, but if it loops up like this, it's good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but it's look pretty solid. I don't have these, but hey, they look nice. <laughs> they got a couple more as well. Bam, got the whites. I had a pair of these, or these are the creams actually, I don't know. But yeah, they got a lot, the butters. Ooh, I would never ever wear these, but hey, let me know what you guys think, high quality or not. Some of these, oh, with the tags on them. I've seen these all over social media. I'm really not the biggest shoe guy, not the biggest anything fashion, but hey, let me know if these are good or not. They got some really cool secret back rooms here that are like locked behind magnets, like really cool. I'll show you guys some of that. They're gonna bring us in for some shoes, I guess. So we'll check that out. He's cool enough to let me film. What's going, brother? Ooh. Got the works in here. All right, we discovered a lot more Yeezys back in the hidden room, and some of these, which honestly, these in my opinion are like the ugliest shoe, but I don't even know. There's like 13 layers, looks like a weird Oreo of some sort. Oh my goodness. But anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Rate the Yeezys, this is the one I'm most familiar with. I have a pair of white ones. Rate these out of 10, what do you think? I don't know what to show you, but hey, 
I don't know. It all kind of looks regular to me. I don't even know if some of these are like real Yeezys. I don't know what colors they have. But hey, they have a lot of different stuff in here. I can show you guys some of this. All these Nikes. Personally, I would never wear those, but let me know what you guys think. Oh, they got Gucci. How'd I miss this? Is this even real? Where it like looks dirty and that's kind of funny. I don't know. I know these are real. I've seen these before. The materials are really good on these, honestly. They feel pretty good. Those definitely seem fake though. Take a look at who shops here. We got Ray Shremmerd. Oh my gosh. Sway Lee, we got both of them. Literally, right here. That's insane. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so there's a few cool pieces we got in the back room like you guys saw. Shoes, watches, a couple of simple little things like that. However, we just ran out. Uh, that's why we're here at a different, actually, bike parking spot. We just ran out to get some water. Now this place is popping. We're about to get some food because we're starving. Look at all the spots for food. And we had to grab a little bit more of the Thai bot here at a currency exchange so that we can get some small bills to get food. They got coconut water and probably like 300 stands, barbecue, chicken, they get everything. It's gonna be so good. So, excited for it. We'll see, uh, see what food we can get. I'm starving and we'll see what other stuff we find because there's probably like maybe 500 shops in here. It's insane. They all have fake stuff, like every single one. It's ridiculous. Food on the left, clothes on the right. It's funny because at every single restaurant, there's probably five to 10 girls out there. Food, food, you hungry? And every single one, every 10 feet. And I'm like, you gotta change up your pitch. It all sounds the same. I start ignoring it after like two or three. None of it's different, but um, hey, they can do what they want. But look at this. There's a lot, a lot of good food. Oh, that looks so good. Hello. That looks really good. Oh, freshly cooked. Is it good? Three. Very good. Very good. Right. Let's do it. Do try one. Buy, like, get one plate and then we'll try and if it's good, we'll get more. Yeah. Oh, they got french fries too. Corey over here only eating American Look stuff. Do you want some french fries? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, good golly. I don't think there's a number you could pay me to eat that. I know. Maybe. Look at these maybe this a. This guy's the most uncultured person in the world. You know what? I'm willing to try their chicken. Hey, out guess here, what? But Corey, I like chicken. Oh, whoa, okay. Let's slow down. You gotta buy me dinner yeah. first. Well, I guess you did. Thanks. Yeah, they're a tiger brawn. Now, well, they get me a Coke, which is very nice of them. I don't know if this is designer or not, but they got antisocial. Those look sick. Good, brother. Yeah, those look good. The food here, really, really good. This is gonna turn into a food vlog, 100%. Look at all it. Wow, I love food. It's all the way there, but it's also all the way down here. We're at the O-Top Market. There's some, oh, holy cow. <laughs> All right, so she's getting some uh, fresh, what is it, pad thai? Pad thai. Fresh pad thai with chicken. Oh yeah, made right there. Looks good. This guy's hooking it up. Awesome. Thank you. We're gonna try, try some of this fried chicken. All right, look at all that. All right, well, quick update. Fried chicken's fire. And her pad thai was really dollar. good. Dollar. This was a dollar. Yeah. A dollar? Look, I, I paid 500 and he gave me... The yeah, the literally. She, the moment she realizes it was three and a half dollars. No, it was literally like two dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, what'd you get yourself? Look at that. That's a oh, beauty right there. It's, it's some in, good stuff. Inside of there? Oh, oh, some fresh water. A little sneak peek inside. Oh. Woo. All right, I have bartered a deal with Corey. If he buys me this watermelon, thank you by the way, I will try his stupid coconut. You're gonna try my coconut? I'm not a big new food, new anything person, and I've had it before and I didn't like it. So, here you go, we're gonna film it. This is the only reason it was worth doing, all right? What is this? I don't know what I'm just putting it in my mouth, ready? It doesn't seem enjoyable, it's just like wet. Coconut's not wet. Fuck! It's dripping on me. Now you just spilled my whole coconut. <laughs> Wasn't good anyway. It was. What a bet. That's a no go. That's a two out of ten. Not on the list. <laughs> so we've been out enjoying food for like the last mm, 45 minutes or so. It's getting dark out. They got all these cool lights. But just ran across. There's a, a couple bags there. I'm 90% positive they don't make these. I don't think this is a style, but. 
It doesn't look bad. Louis Vuitton, maybe you should step it up and make a design like that. All right, and literally like in the back of that little thing you just saw, we're with Corey. What's going on, man? Got a lot of a purse. Yeah, thanks, man. Want? I got, I don't know, Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Kahoo. Jimmy who? Jimmy who? <laughs> Jimmy you. Oh, dude, is that the new Gucci like fighting right Prada? Here. What is that? Right oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. See, let's see. You got the rivets. That looks good. The black edition. They got a lot. They got more of the duffels, different colors. Again, I, I think that style looks pretty good, but I don't know if they have it. They got a couple of cool things. <laughs> Look, you guys gotta let me know. You're probably gonna know better if you're watching this video or maybe not, maybe it's just funny. I, I enjoy this stuff. But is that even, right here, these duffels, is that even a real design? I have no idea. Aren't I, they seagulls no annoying? Doesn't seagulls. <laughs> Why is this one C backwards? What is that? What's up with that? All right, and as we're leaving that store, they got a hat collection with a fat Air Jordan. I think that may be Shaq. Is that Shaq? Now it's repping the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, if Air Jordan gained weight. Is this a rug store? No, Wait a minute. Cloth. cloth. That looks sick. Oh, geez. They got a whole bunch of cloth. You can just make anything. Nice. All right, we got to cross the food aisle to get to some more clothes. Spot's actually really, really cool. I like the vibes, all the lights up here. Whoa, pretty neat. Do you guys want to get in Balenciaga mode, right? Balenciaga, I don't know if they have that design, but he's got a, let's take a quick look. Got some other ones, Gucci up there. Gucci, Calvin Klein jeans on a t-shirt, all right. Supreme, Versace. <laughs> the Supreme, they got a, a good amount. It's good here. Seen a lot out here. Some interesting new designs for sure. Alright. Oh. <laughs> that feels so weird. They're just attaching to you like leeches. <laughs> Free food! Free food! Oh my god, that feels so weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how does it feel? It feels so weird, it feels like these tiny little scratches. <laughs> that is so weird. All right, and lastly for my food, which I'm about to get one more because it was so good, I just ate a crepe. And this is like half of a food vlog as well. But Thailand's been really cool. I enjoyed Koh Samoy when I was there as well. Phuket's been great, but um, it's been a lot of fun. The little fish thing was interesting to watch. She just finished up with that, but the fake market out here with all the designer stuff has been pretty crazy. Saw a good amount of stuff. One of the stores we were in is actually like right over there. But a lot of stuff, personally, I'm not really into it. I mean, if I'm gonna get anything, I would get the real thing just because for me, it's like the act of working hard to get something. So yeah, that's, that's my purpose around it, but. You know, there's a lot of really cool stuff out here. It's really cool to see the different cultures, which is why I love coming to Thailand. I also love going to Indonesia, primarily Bali. Just traveling around instead of just like, you know, sticking to Europe and France. Oh, I think you just saw the big lightning out there. But um, yeah, you know, it's been a really interesting, I've been here for like three, four days, got another four more. So should be a lot of fun. Then I'm off continuing to travel, going to Paris, Monaco, Amsterdam, and Canada next. Then back to the States to my new house, which I will be showing you guys as well in a separate video. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications as well and if you enjoy this video make sure to drop a like put a lot of work into all the cinematics a lot of really cool stuff so hope you uh, enjoyed showing uh, or me showing you all that stuff taking you around throughout the day shopping a little bit and at least well window shopping to say the least so it's been a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed it just finishing it up at this little market and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video peace